hamjambo jina langu ni Abdul Karim karibuni katika darasa la Kiswahili katika darasa hili tutajifunza hali ya kutendesha hali ya kutendesha the causative form of Swahili verb causative form you cause something to happen you make something to happen the causative forms of Swahili verbs uh, before we can start learning this let's remind what we learned in the previous lessons um, so uh, you can find these other forms of the verbs in the my playlists just on YouTube here uh, causative forms of uh, Swahili verbs not causative but verb extensions in Kiswahili uh, the playlist just check you'll be able to learn all the other forms of Swahili verbs we talked about hali ya kutenda, we talked about hali ya kutendwa, we talked about hali ya kutendewa. Now we, uh, we also talk, recently we talked about hali ya kutendea. This is prepositional form of Swahili verb. You do something for someone, hali ya kutendea. Now in this lesson, we are going to talk about hali ya kutendesha, whereby you make something to happen or you cause something to happen. Uh, before we continue, if you're new on this channel, kindly click the subscribe button so that you don't miss any lesson that I upload on this channel. So let's get started with the lesson, the, the causative form. How many forms are remaining here on our level? Halia uh, kutendana, halia kutendeana, and halia kutenda tenda. The ninth one is halia kutendeka. Okay, how many? Moja, bili, tatu, ne, four. Uh, now we start here. Um, hali ya kutendesha. Hali ya kutendesha. Uh, this, uh, let me make this, I think. Uh, let me improve, increase the size a little bit. Okay. Uh, we have here. Positive form of the verbs. Hali hii huonyesha kusababisha jambo kufanyika. To cause something to happen. This form is also formed from nouns and adjectives. So not only from the verbs. It's only it's also formed from the other nouns and adjectives. Kuna aina nne ya vitenzi katika hali hii. So we have three forms of verbs that are formed in this uh, case. Uh, the first one, positive verbs formed with the suffix ish or is nabari ya pili causative verbs formed with the suffix ish or is tatu causative verbs from the infinix uh, or suffix z uh, lish or liz okay let's let's see uh, the fourth one causative verbs that do not fit in any of the above category and you'll be able to understand and in case you in case you hear uh, what someone is saying you just understand what uh, someone is saying. Also, you need to hear more and you need to speak more what you have learned so that you gain practical knowledge of Swahili language. Um, the first one, those that we add, esh or es. Vitenzi vinye irabu o au e huangezo esh au es. So, if it has this vowel, is it has the vowel o or e in the second last syllable, we have to add this esh or is, is. So we just add is between the last part. The first example here is checker. Checker is to laugh. But when you want to make someone, when you want to say to make someone to laugh, we see this E or O, so it's here, E. The second last syllable has E. We add esh. So we say checkesha. Checkesha is to make someone to laugh. So, number pili oga, is to shower. What about to, to make someone to shower or to bath someone? Uh, we say ogesha. Ogesha. Make someone to take a shower. You know, ogesha. Or just to shower someone. Ota, to dream. Ota. Otesha is to make someone to dream. Otesha. Otesha. Kopa. Kopa is to borrow. Kopa. Kopa. To borrow. Kopa. To borrow. Now we, we make someone to borrow, we'll say uh, Kopesha. Kopesha. 
make someone borrow, kopesha. Ona, to see, see, ona. Onesha, make someone to see, onesha. Onesha. Sawa, onesha. To show someone, okay, onesha. Soma, to read, this is to see. Uh, to see. Okay, Soma, this is read. Uh, just a moment here. Read. Somesha. To make someone to read. That is to teach someone. Somesha. We have uh, other meanings of this. Somesha. Somesha means to teach someone something. Uh, somesha also means to pay someone school fees. If you are a parent, you uh, if you are a parent, you pay school fees for your children. Then you say, Nina somesha watoto wangu. Nina somesha watoto wangu. I am educating my kids by paying them school fees. Pay school fees for them. Cheza, this is play. Play. We have chezesha. It's to make someone to play. Maybe the referee makes the game to be played. So refa anachezesha mpira. Refa anachezesha mpira. Anachezesha mchezo. Mpira is a ball. Sema. Say or speak. Say. So if you want to make someone to speak or you talk to someone, you say semesha. Nita kusemesha. It means I will talk to you. Nita kusemesha. Nita msemesha. I will talk to him. I'll make him talk or speak or say something. Okay. Enda is to go. Enda. Go. Enda. Okay. Go. Endesha is to make something to go. That is to drive. To make something to go. And that is to drive. We use this to drive with everything. Uh, that moves, that makes uh, people make it move. If it's a plane, we say kuendesha ndege. If it's a uh, car, kuendesha gari. If it's bicycle, kuendesha baisikeli. Kuendesha baisikeli. If you are making a project to, to move, to go ahead, you say inaendesha mradi. Mradi is a, either a project or something, you know, mradi. Uh, okay, okay. Sawa, uh, enda, endesha. Penda, now here, penda and eka uh, will take as, as, as. So here, penda is love someone, love, you know, just love, to love, penda. Pendeza is to make something to, to be, to love either you or just to make something to love. Pendeza. Now, when someone tells you, una pendeza, it means you are beautiful. You make the person love you, una pendeza. Or you make people love you, una pendeza. And we use this pendeza to mean uh, something is beautiful. Okay. If you go to a school, you say, shule hi ina pendeza, if the school is beautiful. Shule hi ina pendeza. Uh, we also have the words for beautiful, but we have um, beautiful, if it's a girl or a lady, we say mrembo. Yeah, msichana mrembo. Wewe ni mrembo. Wewe ni mrembo sana. You're very beautiful. Someone can say, wewe ni mrembo sana. Or someone can say, una pendeza sana. Una pendeza sana. Uh, if it's a man or a gentleman, we say mtanashati. Um, mtanashati means handsome. Handsome, man, or just a male gender, we say mtanashati. Uh, also, you can say unapendeza. Unapendeza means you look attractive. Yeah, also just imply the same. You are handsome or you're beautiful. So, unapendeza. If you see the phone, it's very good, it's beautiful, it's attractive. You say simuhi ina pendeza. Simuhi ina pendeza. Sawa. We have eka. Eka is to keep. To 
hip. Keep maybe the money somewhere. Then we have the verb ekeza. This simply means to invest, to invest, to invest, you know, investment. Kuekeza. Maybe you have money, you invest in business, you say nina ekeza katika biashara. Let's have an example in a sentences and see how this form the verbs are used. Uh, we have here Baraka anaendesha gari moja. Baraka anaendesha gari. Baraka is driving a car. Bili, mwalimu anasomesha hisabati. Mwalimu anasomesha hisabati. The teacher is uh, teaching math. So kusomesha, from the word kusoma, to, to learn, to study, kusomesha, to teach. Uh, tatu, alinichelewesha. Alinichelewesha. The verb is chelewa, to be late. Chelewesha is to make someone to be late. So in this case, alinichelewesha, he made me to be late. He delayed me, alinichelewesha. Nne. Bengi ilinikopesha pesa. Bengi ilinikopesha pesa. Kopa to borrow. Borrow something. Maybe borrow money, borrow something. Uh, money mainly. Uh, we use this money. We use the word kopa uh, in with something like money. But if there is other, tangi other objects like a car, we don't use kopa. We use azima. Azima is to, to lend, maybe uh, to lend or to borrow uh, a car, a phone, laptop. But if it's money, we say copper. Copper. Sawa? Bengi ilinikopesha. The bank lent me pesa. Pesa is money. Pesa. Ilinikopesha. Tano. Juma alipoteza pesa yake jana. Juma alipoteza pesa yake jana. Potea is to get lost. Potea. Poteza is to make something to get lost. So this Juma alipoteza, eh, he lose the money. Alipoteza. Sita. Mtoto huyu anapendeza. Mtoto huyu anapendeza. This kid or this child is attractive. It's beautiful. Mtoto huyu anapendeza. Saba. Uh, hii ni nambari ya saba. Kampuni, uh, kampuni iliekeza katika biashara. Kuekeza, to invest. Kampuni iliekeza katika biashara. The company invested in business. Iliekeza. Uh, the second category are the ones that we add ish or is. Uh, and let's see. If it has the, this a, e, or u in the, in the second last syllable here, uh, we have to add this ish or is. So this is the first last syllable, but this is the second last syllable, this ha. So the, this, the syllable or the vowel in the second last syllable is a, as we, have, we can see in this list here. So we have to add this ish or is. So let's see, hama, we say hamisha. Hama is to migrate or to move to another place. Hamisha is to make someone to move. Maybe you, maybe you didn't pay uh, rent. Uh, the landlord or the landlady um, made you to move to another place. So landlord ali kuhamisha. Sawa, mwenye nyumba ali kuhamisha. Rudy, Rudy, return. So you return. Now you make something return, we say Rudisha. Rudisha, Rudisha. Maybe you know you go to the shop, you buy something and it's faulty or it's not suitable for you. You return it back. Nina Rudisha, yeah. I return it back. Imba, sing, imbisha. Make someone to sing, imbisha. Andika, andikisha. And ikisha means to, uh, to make someone to write, but uh, generally we use it to mean to register someone, to register someone, and ikisha. And ikisha. Normally uh, we say um, 
there is a list you need to write your name there. So someone is telling you, Andika Janelako. So that person is registering you. It can either be the person is making telling you to write your name there, or the person telling you to give the name, then the person writing in the computer. So Andikisha to register. Okay. Uh, Tajiri is a noun. It means a rich person. Tajiri, Tajiri, rich person. To make someone rich, we say Tajirisha. Tajirisha, this is a verb, to make someone to become rich, Tajirisha. Tajirisha. Fupi is adjective, it means short. To make something become short, we say Fupisha. Fupisha. Rahisi, easy. To make something easy, Rahisisha. Fika, reach somewhere. Maybe you're going somewhere and you have reached a point. You have reached maybe Mombasa. You say, Nimefika Mombasa. But to make someone reach Mombasa, you say, Fikisha. To make someone or something reach the destination, you say, say Fikisha. The verb is Fikisha. Laini, it means soft. Laini, or it means straight. Something that is straight or something that is soft. Yes, actually it's soft. Um, laini, soft, or lainisha is to make something soft or something actually straight. Yeah, it's actually also, it can be used to imply something that is straight, lainisha. Uh, lainisha, lainisha. We have this one, eager is to imitate, to imitate, eager. Igiza is to act, igiza. Act, igiza, igiza, act. Example, mifano katika sentensi, John alirudisha bidhaa yake dukani. John alirudisha bidhaa yake dukani. John returned his item to the shop. Yeah, you can see this uh, Amazon package here. Uh, John is returning it to the, the office of the Amazon. Maybe, I don't know why, but maybe it's faulty. I don't know. See you. Okay, John, Ali Rudisha, Bidayaki, Dukani. Namari Apili, Fundi Cherehani, Ali Fupisha Nguoyangu. Fundi Cherehani, Ali Fupisha Nguoyangu. The tailor uh, shortened my cloth. Ali Fupisha. Fundi Cherehani. You can say Fundi Cherehani, but it's long one. You just say fundi, fundi, fundi. We have uh, different types of uh, this fundi. It can be a constructor. It can be one dealing with electricity. It can be one dealing with uh, just uh, different items. So when you say fundi, now it depends with the context that you're using this word. Fundi, 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 everyone fundi. This is fundi cherehani. You just refer to him or her as fundi alifupisha ngoyangu. Sawa? The machine for sewing the cloth here is called Cherehani, Cherehani. Now this Fundi Cherehani, Alifupisha Ngoyangu, the tailor, uh, shortened my cloth, you know? So, tattoo, rice wa Tanzania. Rice wa Tanzania. Rice wa Tanzania, Bisamia alirahisisha maisha ya watu wengi. Rice wa Tanzania, Bisamia alirahisisha maisha ya watu wengi. The president of Tanzania, Bisamia. Yeah, she's called Bisamia Suluhu Hassan. Bisamia Suluhu Hassan. Ali Rahisisha. He made easy. He simplified. Maisha Watwengi. The lives of many people. The lives of many people. Ne. Seremala Alila Inisha Mbao. Seremala alila inishambao. The carpenter um, smoothened or straightened the wood. Seremala alila inisha mbao. Also, Seremala, we call him fundi. Yes. Fundi. But Seremala means carpenter. Okay, let's continue. Uh, tattoo. 
uh, this group, group three here is, are the Z, Lish, or Liz. Now, vitenzi vinye irabu mumbatano, this is a double vowel, kongezo viambishi, uh, can be added this, Z, Lish, or Liz, by na ya irabu, between these uh, vowels. Now, let's see, mostly we add this Z, okay? We add uh, this Z. Let's see, uh, the first example here, umia, umia is to get hurt. Umiza is to hurt someone, umiza. You don't hurt people. Umiza. It's usi umize watu. Umiza is to hurt. Ana ni umiza. He or she is hurting me. Ana ni umiza. Ingia is to enter. Ingiza is to make something or someone to enter. Maybe uh, you make people to enter the room. Una ingiza watu chumbani. So sikia. Sikia. Sikia is to hear. When the teacher tells you, listen, the teacher will use the word sikiliza. Sikiliza. Sikiliza is to make yourself to listen. Sikiliza. When I say sikiliza, now you have to be attentive. But sikia, just, you're just hearing things and what. But sikiliza, you're paying attention at everything. Okay, you can say sikiliza or sikiza. Sawa, sikiliza or sikiza. Ka, to sit. Ka, uh, kachini, sit down. Kachini, sit down. Kalisha, kalisha, kalisha. To make someone sit down. Kalisha, either by telling them sit down or by just physically helping them to sit down. Okay. Timia. Timia is to fulfill. Timia. Timia is to fulfill. Timia. Timiza. Timia is to be fulfilled. Timia. You say, Ndoto yangu imetimia. My dream has been fulfilled. Timia. It has come to pass, my dream. Timiza is to fulfill. Now you say, Mimi, nimetimiza ndoto yangu. Oh my God. Nimetimiza ndoto yangu. It's, it's a very, very happy moment when you finally uh, fulfill your dream. You say, nimetimiza ndoto yangu. If you are a student, if you are a student uh, for your four-year course, you are studying, um, after you graduate or on the day of graduation, you can say, Nimetimiza ndoto yangu ya kumaliza chuo. I have fulfilled my dream of finishing the university. For me, I cannot say, Nimetimiza ndoto yangu ya kuhitimu chuo kiku. I cannot say this because I haven't graduated. I started, I started studying a long time ago, 2017, up to now. My university is delaying me. But God willing, this year I will graduate. God willing, so you guys will pray for me. I, actually, I pray you pray for me so that I, I'm able to fulfill my dream of graduating. You know, I study in the University of Nairobi, but I haven't graduated. So I need your prayers, guys. Ili nitimize ndoto yangu ya kuhitimu chuo kiku sawa timiza. Uh, Zoezi, exercise. Now, I want you to make these verbs, uh, these verbs, causative. Andika katika hali ya kutendesha, you make these verbs causative, okay? You write in the comment section below. The first word is tembea. Let me number them. Tembea. Tembea is to walk. Tembea. Walk. How do you say make someone to walk or assist someone to walk? How do you say? Write in the comment section below and I'll see. Uh, pungua is reduce. How do you say to make something reduce? Reduce something. How do you say this in Swahili? Write in the comment section below. Or is to marry or. But we use or just for male. Uh, men, gentlemen, we say or. Uh, ladies, you say olewa. So or, how do you say, how do you say make someone to marry? Make someone to marry. 
Yeah, normally we, uh, in this case, it is uh, the parents or the guardian of the lady or the, or the bride that makes the, the bridegroom to marry the bride. Sour. Uh, ja, ja is to feel, ja. But how do you say to make something to feel, ja? Ja, how to say, make something to feel, maybe feel something. Yeah, okay. Kimbia is to run. Kimbia. Kimbia is to run. Kimbia. But how do you say to make something to run, to chase something? Chase something. Write in the comment section below. Uh, I'll be able to get to you and answer your question, uh, your uh, response to your answers, okay? The third one, uh, the fourth part here, we say causative verbs we do not fit in, in, in into any of the above category that we've just learned here. Some verbs with uh, verbs, some verbs ending with ka and ta are made causative by replacing the suffixes with sha as shown. Chemka. Chemka is to to boil. Chemsha. It's to make something to boil. Chemsha. Pata is to get. Pasha is to make something to get. So we use this pasha uh, for the news, like to, to give the news. Nipashe. When something say, nitakupasha, uh, it means I will let you know about the news or about uh, what we just uh, talked about. Nitakupasha. I will tell you. I will let you know. Nipashe. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Make me know. Nipashe. So, nipashe. Some verbs are causative in their original form. The verb fundisha is already causative. Fundisha, to teach someone, to make someone to learn. Fundisha, it's already causative. Sawa, fundisha. Fundisha, we have fundisha, we have somesha. Somesha is, uh, is not, it's not already in causative, but somesha is causative, but it's derived from soma, which means read or study or uh, make someone to, uh, uh, educate someone so to, to to be educated and to to study just somesha we get that one from the verb soma but this fundisha is already causative in its own form okay yes guys now uh, our lesson was very long uh, i really appreciate your uh, you as my audience uh you're learning swahili very well um on Sunday, we have a program. Um, the program is free on Zoom. Uh, on Zoom, uh, you just join uh, on our Zoom. You can send me uh, your message. Maybe I'll send you the Zoom link. Uh, my number is here. Just right here, 254. Yeah, this is my number. Send me the message so you can get a chance to practice in our Zoom meeting uh, every Sunday. Today we have Zoom meeting, uh, 7 p.m. Kenyan time, East African time, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. We'll be having our Swahili uh, Zoom meeting. So I hope to see you in the meeting as well. Kwaheri, tutakutana, katika salingine.